Squarespace just launched a new feature that allows creators to monetize their blogs. Using this new feature, we may have a blog collection or a publication wherein certain blog posts can only show the excerpt and then our users will be invited to sign up to read the rest of the post. We may set up different pricing or access plans, for example, for users to read the rest of the posts within the collection. We may set up this subscription pricing plan, either yearly, monthly, or weekly. We may also add a one-time payment option. Or if you want certain collections to be available for free, but then we wish to collect email addresses or prompt them to log in before they're able to access exclusive content, then we can also set up a free pricing plan. Once a blog collection is paywalled, then by default, the blog post's full content will be hidden. Only the content which we assign as excerpt will be shown to the users. But if we wish to assign certain blog posts to be visible without having to log in or sign up, then we may assign certain blog posts for public preview. Now, how do we set up this paywalled blog collections? If you're familiar with courses and digital products, I actually have a separate video about that, which I'll link below. The configuration is quite similar wherein we can assign multiple pricing plans, but the course collection is more for structured content, which you wish to be consumed in a more sequential order. On the other hand, blog collections are not necessarily consumed in sequential order and we may group our posts in different categories and we may also tag them accordingly and they are arranged in a chronological order. With this update, any existing or new blog collection will now have the option to set up pricing plans. If there is no pricing plan attached yet to the blog collection, then all the content within the post will be accessible publicly, which is the default setting. But as soon as we go to the pricing plans tab and create a new pricing plan, and it can be free via subscription or a one-time payment, then the entire blog collection will be paywalled. So for example, if I add a free pricing plan, I can just name it square one free and remove this description for now as well as these benefits as soon as i create this pricing plan we'll notice that when we go to our blog content head to any post and access edit mode we'll now find that we'll have the option to edit the excerpt because only the excerpt will be shown by default and then the rest of the post content will be hidden. So if I try to visit the blog post URL in an incognito window browser, notice how only the excerpt is showing and then the rest of the post is hidden. Then we will be prompted to join now using this button and then we can sign up using the pricing plans that we've configured. We may set up multiple pricing plans within the same collection. For example, I can set up a pricing plan for subscription a monthly one, which is $10 per month, and an annual one, which is $1,000. We may even have a pricing plan for one-time payment, and we may configure which pricing plan will be made available by going to our paywalls menu. And right here, we can show a welcome message and some instructions. Then under featured pricing plan, we may choose which pricing plans are made publicly visible. So for example, I don't wish this free option to be publicly visible, I can hide it. Now when users click the join now button, then they will be presented with these two pricing options. Under payable placement, we'll find that by default, blog posts only is selected. And I believe this will be the case for most use cases, but in use cases wherein you don't wish the blog overview, that means the thumbnail and the excerpt to be shown publicly, then you may choose this option. As I've mentioned, 
if at least one pricing plan has been set up for a blog collection, then by default, the blog post's full content will be paywalled or gated. Only the thumbnail and the excerpt will be visible. But if you wish certain blog posts to be available for public preview, that means the entire post will be visible, even if it belongs to a paywalled blog collection, then we can simply select that blog post and click this three dot icon opposite it and choose this option to set as public preview. Upon doing so, we'll find that when we visit the site on a browser wherein you're not logged in, then we'll find this preview button opposite that blog post. And if we look into the rest of the other blog posts, their full content is hidden. But if we look into that blog post, which we set to be for public preview, then its main content will be shown. But if we navigate to other blog posts, then we'll find that their full content is hidden. A quick note about SEO any content that is made publicly available, for example, excerpts, thumbnails, titles, URLs, as well as full post content that are set for public preview, they will be indexed accordingly. But any paywalled content will not be indexed. I truly believe this is such an exciting new way to monetize content in Squarespace. I understand this is not as robust, powerful, and feature-rich as other monetized publications such as Substack, but then I believe Squarespace is just getting started, so stay tuned for updates. If you're looking for high-touch support for your Squarespace projects, please check out my program, Standout Squarespace.